all I know it's been such a long time it feels really weird filming but I am back and I am pregnant again if you are new to my channel I already have a baby girl she is 21 months old her name is Sienna and I am pregnant with baby girl number two I am 34 weeks pregnant and at 34 weeks I feel like I should be more prepared than I am so we're gonna be doing a lot of newborn prep today I'm gonna be setting up her bedside nursery I'm going to try and organize their bedroom so once baby number two transitions to a crib my two girls are gonna be sharing a room so I want to make sure that I kind of organize that I don't have a crib yet she's gonna be sleeping next to me for the first few months anyway so I didn't really rush in getting a crib so we actually already set up her bassinet this is the snoo so if you don't know what the snoo is I'm sure you do it's like a smart bassinet we got this with her first and if you watched my newborn essentials video I said that I prefer the halo bassinet more which I still do but I wanted to give this a second try because a lot of my friends or mom friends swear by this maybe it just didn't work for my first because we didn't use it right away is what I'm thinking so I'm giving it another shot and crossing my fingers that this works for baby number two but if it doesn't I'm definitely gonna get the halo swivel really love that bassinet it was just so easy with that bendable wall um, to grab her the one thing that I didn't have with my first that I wish I did is a utility card so I finally got one for this baby really just to store all of my pumping essentials breastfeeding essentials diapering in the middle of the night any swaddles it's just a little like baby stuff organizer that I can just drag around the house I just got this one from Target I think it was about $25, $30. I can't remember. I'll make sure to link everything that I mentioned down in the description box. My plan is to have all of my breastfeeding, pumping essentials up here. I would have like diaper stuff in here ideally, but my pump is really big. I have the Spectra S2 and it'll just be easier for me to grab my pump from here and then all of the diapering stuff here and then any clothes, swaddles and whatnot down at the lower, lower tier or whatever you call that. <laughs> essentials right away is because that's also another thing that I wish I had done earlier is build a supply because later on when I started working my supply did drop and I wish I had you know like a stack of breast milk on the freezer to help me when my supply was really low I don't know how it's gonna go but <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers that my breastfeeding journey this time around goes well I have the haka here which is one of my number one essentials if you're breastfeeding um, and this is definitely something that I will use right away this is probably gonna be the first thing that I'll be using if I don't use like my um, electric pump right away
Okay, now moving on to the girls' bedroom. This is what Sienna's room looks like right now. We're here, we were gifted the Graco crib mattress and then my mom also sent, this is the Mockingbird bassinet for the stroller. This is the Fisher Price playmat that Sienna really loved when she was younger. Baby number two is gonna be able to enjoy it as well. So I already set that up. This is their changing table. I still have this Kikaru peanut, which I really love, highly recommend. All I do is wipe and sanitize this thing. I don't have to wash any changing sheets or whatever. And I just have her wipes out here. It's not super aesthetic to just keep my wipes out here, but you know, it's, it's what works, it's easy. So my plan is to have this side all of baby number two stuff and then this side all of Sienna's stuff. Um, I've already emptied these out so they're all ready for baby number two. How I organize these is I have diapers right here and this has really just worked for us to have all of the diapers on the top drawer and here is where I have all of Sienna's shirts and leggings or pants. I actually did the laundry yesterday so I still need to fold them so this is why this is looking a little empty if you think that was empty, this is more empty. So this is where I keep all of Sienna's socks and her jammies. A lot of the times I'll just ask Sienna to grab her jammies and she can open it easily and also a pair of socks, she'll grab that when we're getting dressed. So I like that that's accessible for her. There's really not that much space, so I had to work with what we have. I got this shelf, um, cube shelf from Target. You can also get them from Ikea. But this was super helpful in just making sure that we maximized this space because as you can tell, there weren't really any shelves. I also have this organizer here that you can hang over your door. I got this from Amazon. A lot of these things I had in the dresser, but because I had to make space there for baby number two's clothes, I needed this, and this was super helpful. Over here, I just have some hats. I also have these little turbans. All of the bows I have so many bows here. The big bows are over here, and then I have the smaller bows over here. Here I have some mittens, some binkies. I have this one that was gifted. It's a Frida Baby Teether that we haven't opened. I'll just open that once we get to that point. This was also another gift that we haven't opened. The duck thermometer, bath thermometer. I really wish that I had these with Sienna, so I'm so happy that um, we have this now. I was always so paranoid about how hot the water is. And here I just have the things that I use to fix Sienna's hair. So a spray bottle, all of her elastics. I have elastics for days. I'm gonna link these in the description box because I got these from Amazon. It came with all of the combs and like accessories to fix your toddler's hair. And this bag of so many elastics. This is gonna last me forever, I feel like. I'm gonna link these down in the description box because that this is a great deal. So this is an overview of the closet or inside of the closet. Um, it's nothing special but like I said you know it works I'm able to store all of their stuff okay let's start here at the top we started using Kirkland diapers for Sienna so we did get one box for baby number two I like putting it here I can see how much more we have I can see what size it is and then here I just have some gifts for baby number two that we haven't really opened yet here are all of Sienna's sweaters and clothes and a snowsuit that she never wore, but I'm keeping because, you know, baby number two. She wore it once for a photo, and that's about it. Halloween costumes that I can probably donate. Um, <laughs> here I just have bags that basically store everything for the stroller and the car seat. So this is basically for the Uppa Baby stroller, for a car seat, just so I have a place for that. Right here, I just have 
these swaddles that I haven't washed or opened. And then I have, I don't know why I have coconut oil here, but I do. These are like the milestone wood things. <laughs> I don't know what you call it, but it's what I use to take Santa's milestone photos. Um, I have that here for baby number two as well. I actually don't know if I'll change it up for her, but I have those. And then, like I said, this Target cube shelf thing was is super helpful. I have some blankets here. This is all like swaddles. I have this magic sleep suit that I've yet to wash. And then all of Sienna's little tutus. She's been really into like ballet and tutus lately. And then here I have extra wipes. And over here, are just some extra covers for a bunch of random things. I think this is for my nursing pillow. I have another extra one here for my nursing pillow. I have the boppy pillow. This is for the high chair, the Ikea high chair. And this is for the snuggle me pillow that I have and the baby Bjorn bouncer. So any like extra covers, I just keep on here. This one is pretty empty, but I like keeping space in here for like random stuff. This one is a baby jogger play yard that we use for when we're traveling, that's where Sienna sleeps. I'll probably use that as a play yard for baby number two. We have this portable high chair that my in-laws got for Sienna that we also never used. <laughs> this is just a cushion for the bumbo seat and some shoes that I need to either throw away or donate. I just have them in a bag right here. Look, it's so cheese! cheese. <laughs> you have hiccups, huh? Oh, don't touch the lens. Somebody's home and uh, causing trouble. Where's mama? Where's mama? Yeah. Do you see mama? It is the next day. It's just so hard to get things done with a toddler, but she is down for her nap right now So I'm gonna try and get some more things done. I have a little bit of a cold right now So I apologize if I sound a little sniffly. It's just life with a toddler that goes to daycare They just get all sorts of sicknesses. I swear I'm constantly sick But I have a bunch of boxes that have just been sitting here in the living room for days now So I really need to get these out of the way. It's basically a new stroller that we got so we used to have the Uppa Baby Cruise, which I really love. I have any problems with that. It's just, it doesn't turn into a double stroller. The Uppa Baby Vista is the one that does convert to a double stroller, but that one is really expensive. We saw that some of our friends used the Mockingbird and they really look similar. So we thought we'd give it a try. My mom also gifted us some of the accessories for it. Overall, it was just a cheaper option than getting a Vista. We are gonna keep the Uppa Baby Cruise just in case. I also have, actually, let's start with this one first. Oh, I'll just start with this one first. This is the Baby Bjorn Baby Carrier Free. We already have the Ergo Baby 360 and two baby carriers or wraps from I think Moby and Kia Babies. Kia Baby sent us one that I really like, but I saw this one and it just looked like it was a more comfortable baby carrier than the Ergo Baby. Because I do like having a carrier that's not a wrap because honestly the wrap is just, it's a lot of steps. <laughs> so when I'm in a rush, I do like having a baby carrier. I don't know. This was also really cute, so I got it. I got it in the blush color. Actually, dusty pink is what they call it. Dusty pink rose color. So far, it just feels much lighter than the Ergo Baby. Looks like you can use it as a newborn, facing in or facing out from zero to 15 months. That's the first box that, we're gonna, that we have in here that I'm gonna take out, and then let's unbox the stroller.
from her nap. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> you see your new potty? stroller? That is a potty, yes. Do you need a potty? Mm. Do you need a potty, Gina? You need a potty? No. No, okay. <laughs> what do you think of it? You want to sit there? Yeah. She wanted to test it out. <laughs> oh, I see. There you go. Is that more comfortable? You like it? Yes. Hmm? I don't want to bring it outside yet. It's so fresh and new. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so that is pretty much it. Sienna had a full-on tantrum because of course she wanted to try it out, which is really cute. I have another box right here that is basically the car seat adapter for the Uppa Baby Mesa. Like I said, we used to have the Uppa Baby Cruise, so we still have the car seat and we are gonna keep that. Instead of getting the uh, Mockingbird car seat, I don't even think I really looked at the car seat for Mockingbird because I heard that they have an adapter for the Uppa Baby Mesa, so I just went ahead and got that. But I think I feel a lot more ready for baby number two now. There's definitely some things that I still need to buy, like water wipes, the diaper rash, spatula thing, and also I need to get a bottle brush for her. We have a bottle brush for Sienna, but I would like to, her to have her own. I'm sure there's still some stuff that I need to do here and there, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming up preparing for baby number two, so I hope you subscribe. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.